Efficiency. At this time, I'd like to yield uh, time to the gentlelady, uh, Ms. Blackburn, uh, two minutes. The ge gentlewoman from Tennessee is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I want to thank Mr. Dent and Mr. Rakita for their work on this issue. You know, the Department of Energy is so determined to redesign the ceiling fan that they have released a 101-page rulemaking framework document which evaluates the potential energy savings of their new regulations. Well, what we have found is that just like stretching their tentacles into light bulbs and so many other areas of our home, what they are doing is pricing people out of the ceiling fan market. These new regulations would significantly impair the ability of ceiling fan manufacturers like Hunter Fans in Memphis, Tennessee to produce reasonably priced, highly decorative fans. The regulations will not only place a higher price tag on the less pleasing design but could increase homeowners' reliance on ceiling systems that are less energy efficient. What we are seeing is that with ceiling fans, many of our constituents save as much as 14 percent on the energy used to cool their home, and they can save homeowners as much as 40 percent of their air conditioning bills by creating a breeze that makes the room feel a little bit cooler. New regulations will curb increased consumer trends in the marketplace, which currently include placing ceiling fans in laundry rooms, closets, and master bathrooms. I would encourage my colleagues to support this amendment, and I yield back the balance of my time to Mr. Dent.